Hello, users, and welcome to episode 300 of Above It All, the series in where I make fun of right-wing Looney Tunes, and also neoliberals as well, but, you know, well, that's a story for another day. Here we go, we have Alex Jones, whom I haven't seen anywhere for, like, at least a year. He's just been kind of in the ethereal gone zone, so to speak. And but he's coming back. So this is on the independent.co.uk. Um and they have this little video compilation that I haven't watched all the way through yet, but uh it it, it it's pretty epic. So I'm just gonna play this. It's only coming through my left ear channel. Very poorly produced video, but uh this is a UK based rag, so Look at these dumb motherfuckers. Mark of the Beast! I mean, this is the thing, it's like, again, I said this during the Florida Beaches video. If it were just these stupid dumbasses go out here and they all drop dead and die, fine. Spite, Darwinism, in effect, I like it. I'm all here for it. In fact, I'd probably be excited because we'd have less stupid motherfuckers on the planet. But it's like, they're doing this shit, getting infected with a viral disease, and then going home and killing their grandparents or their parents. You know, like, it's just, that's the worst fucking part about this. It's like, if it were just personal responsibility and, oh, if you, like, get fucking infected, you just die instantly, then that's one thing. But it's, it's, uh, it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating. Freedom is essential. Look at this guy's giddy ass face. Like, look at this. Like, whoa, 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 look at my sign. <laughs> hey guys, whoa. Like, COVID 1984. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. COVID-1984, you can tell that guy has read 1984 cover to cover at least six times, right? You totally know this guy is a well-read, very, like, very literate individual that knows exactly what they're talking about. COVID-19. Rats are essential. I don't even know what he's saying, but all I can hear, because this video is extremely terribly produced for some reason, like, all I can hear is people screaming, like, whoa, yeah, whoa, as this guy's, like, driving by in what looks like some sort of military-grade, like, APC, with, like, a fu like, what the fuck? Still 20 something seconds left. The Constitution is not. To That's the thing, it's like. Imagine being this guy that says, The Constitution is not toilet paper, and you support Donald fucking Trump. Like, that's the thing, it's like. Like, I, I, that's the real thing here, is that all these people are Trump supporters. Like, the Constitution! Yeah, that's the thing that Donald Trump loves to talk about. Like, oh, he loves the Constitution. The guy about the boo! Like, there's not toilet paper guy will respect the goddamn rights! Like, it's just so stupid. These people are mind-numbing stupidity. I, like, again, if all these people died tomorrow, 
I would be excited. That would be a great thing. <laughs> like, but they're not. They're just going to slowly infect their entire family. Like, that's the thing. If you have one stupid right-wing cocksucker in your family that ever comes near you, then you're in danger. And that's the problem here. Like, this is one of those things where it's like, you <laughs> like, you got to have an intervention at some point. Like, just supporting Donald Trump in 2020 is a death cult. <laughs> like, it's, you're drinking the fucking Kool-Aid and this fucking shit. Like, this is so stupid. <laughs> God set America free because facts and logic. Uh, again, there's a terribly produced video. I don't know why the audio is so shitty. I'm guessing they're just terrible. I'm not going to bother reading this shit, but apparently they talk about Fauci a little bit. But yeah, I, it's just fucking funny. I, this is just funny. Does this have better audio? It does. Okay. These people look like they're Antifa dressed up with the bandanas on. I thought that was against the rules. I thought having a mask on means you're afraid. Oh, oh, oh they're pussies. They're so weak. Oh. If it's a hoax, why would you put your mask on, right? Like, that's the whole thing. This whole thing is predicated upon the, like, the idea that the coronavirus is fake news, right? So if it's fake news, I mean, like most people don't have their masks on because they're smart and intelligent individuals. But right, if it's fake news, why would anyone have their masks? Fire, Fauci! Fire, Fauci! Fire, Fauci! This is so stupid. Infowars.com. God bless. Oh, <laughs> so dumb. Well, like uh, this. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so dumb. <laughs> Oh god. Oh. <laughs> and that's the thing is like I said this before but I'll say it again just for posterity. But it's like it sucks because if the CARES Act wasn't so garbage and if the stimulus wasn't just complete shit and if unemployment insurance actually functioned properly, people wouldn't be in this situation. If we just from day one did what Denmark did. Hey, we'll give you like 95% of your salary. Just stay home and don't move for a couple of months. We would probably be fine. Like at least relatively speaking. But no. Nope. Nope. We have to fuck over. And that's the thing. Is like all these people are Trump supporters. So Trump specifically fuck them over but they're so goddamn stupid that they go trump sending our stimulus checks whoa gosh dang i'm gonna go spend it on the hair salon wait the hair salon's closed oh no like it's just like there's oh <laughs> and of course we have an anemic opposition party nancy pelosi is just a complete scumbag not doing a damn fucking thing to fucking do anything oh chuck schumer hey oh oh Donald Trump Jr. won't get his paws on this corporate slush fund. And then, like, the next thing they do is Donald Trump's like, yeah, about that oversight board. That's not happening anymore. Like, it's just, we live in a hell world. We're all going to fucking die. <laughs>